latest equipment to arrive in the fight against COVID-19 is worth 1 billion Rwandan francs and was donated by Japan through the World Health Organization. Infrastructure that had been built in efforts to fight the spread of the Ebola virus, if ever it was to cross into Rwanda, is now being put to good use fighting COVID-19, which local residents in different parts of the country appreciate. Rwandan health officials have also expressed appreciation for their latest support to arrive. In all honesty, this support has come supporting many other things the government has done to fight the pandemic, especially when it comes to people coming into the country from abroad. I can say that we have made good progress in the fight against the virus and the infection rates show it. There was a time we saw a spike in such infections, especially in prisons, about three weeks ago. But I am now sure you have all noticed that infection rates are once again on the decline. That is because measures have been taken to fight its spread even in prisons, and we are now reaping the benefits of those efforts. Those who were found to be infected were cared for. Those suspected of contracting the virus are tested, and the elderly receive special attention lest some of them die. The minister also noted that three COVID-19 vaccines have shown promise around the world and Rwanda is ready to make an official request for a vaccine the moment one is approved. It is true that we are part of COVAX and engaged in different activities that include submitting a formal request using the provided forms with each country explaining what vaccines it needs, the quantity and how they will be used. We intend to fill and send it by the 7th of December. We are also ready to receive the vaccines when they will be available. We have prepared cold storage facilities for them because, as you know, vaccines need that type of storage with varying degrees of cold depending on the type of vaccine. People in the health sector, those above the age of 65 and others suffering from non-communicable diseases will be the first to be vaccinated, this according to the Ministry of Health. The World Health Organization country representative here in Rwanda has pointed out that even though COVID-19 has not ravaged Africa as much as the rest of the globe, there is no reason to take the pandemic lightly. The African region today remains one of the least affected by COVID due to various uh, reasons. Currently, the region is accounting for 2.4% of reported cases and 2.3% of deaths worldwide. But that is not to say that the issues affecting our countries is small. It is still a very big issue. There has been in the African region 1.4 million cases and over 32,000 people have lost their lives. In Rwanda, the World Health Organization remains committed to working with government of Rwanda and partners to stem the spread of COVID-19. Rwanda's efforts to fight the spread of the virus have also included the training of personnel.